Well, hello and welcome to this week's uh, principal's uh, message. Uh, from myself, Dr. Neil Hopkin, I'm the Executive Principal for Fortis Education and the Principal here at Sunmark School. Uh, as you know, we run the English National Curriculum, often called the British Curriculum. And um, this week is a special week for the British Curriculum because it is uh, Science Week uh, in the UK. And so schools across the UK are focusing the minds of their students on all things science. And so we too are celebrating that particular aspect of our focus. And of course, as you're aware, one of the main things that we focus on here as a signature program uh, within Fortis Education is STEAM education. Science, technology, engineering, arts and maths. And I'm speaking to you from one of our many brilliant science labs that we have here within our secondary school. Science is a very important part of all our society um, and a very fundamental part of how children learn. It's very often through science that the children are able to engage in critical thinking and to do some metacognitive learning. Uh, metacognition is that process where a child is able to zoom out from a particular uh, context of study. If you think about some of the uh, moments that you've had of great learning in school, um, they might have been right down at the detail of a particular aspect of your learning where we are perhaps gaining some knowledge or maybe some particular skills to be able to uh, do some uh, particular aspect of whatever it is, whatever subject it is uh, that we're learning about. But actually, there's a third fundamental step to learning, not just knowledge and skills, but understanding, the ability to be able to apply knowledge. And that requires uh, a child to be able to think more critically about what's doing and to ask some high-level questions of the things that they're studying. Um, metacognition is very much part of that critical thinking approach and a child's ability to not only think about the broad picture of what they're learning, uh, but also to have an awareness of how they themselves are interacting with that particular subject or topic of study, uh, and to understand a little bit more about the kinds of questions not only that they should be asking, but actually maybe some of the questions that they're not currently asking and, uh, and might decide to explore as a new area uh, to, uh, to learn about. So science provides a very ready and easy mechanism uh, to do that. There are so many subjects within the science curriculum, it's very broad. And if we think of the way that uh, we as adults encounter science, uh, along with our families on a day-to-day -day basis, of course, of course it's all around us, uh, not least in the kitchen, uh, but of course in every aspect of our life we uh, encounter some aspect of science at work. And that might be, uh, perhaps we're going for a walk and we see a beautiful flower. There's an opportunity to uh, talk about the wonder of science uh, within nature. It might be uh, that you're perhaps uh, seeing a fantastic invention and some use of technology and science, of course, has empowered uh, that use of technology. Really, the opportunities to talk about science lie all around us. So for your homework this week in uh, what is uh, British Science Week, uh, I encourage you to think and to notice uh, all the opportunities to talk about science in all its many forms in your day-to-day -day life with your children and just to do some of that metacognition, that higher order thinking where you wonder about what it is that's going on and how you might explore and understand it all better. So, I hope you have some fun exploring those higher order thoughts together and I'll see you next week.